Yo, what's up guys? Teacher Paul over here, and today we are reacting to Geography Now, United States. I mean, we have done so many countries, and we haven't done the US yet, have we? So let's react to this, and if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's go. This is quite an old video, but I hope it's still relevant, you know. <laughs> let's go. Hey Jugger peeps. So this is a little video that I kind of wanted to make for a while, but never really had time until now. So of course the majority of Geography Now subscribers are from, you know, my home country, the US. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the US. And some of you have expressed, you know, a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states, you know, kind of function or what they're like. Each state does kind of have their own unique individual qualities. And I'm going to try my best to explain each and every single one of them to you right now. Alabama, where both white people and black people are poor but they party equally hard roll tide no but seriously alabama is kind of like where the confederacy started so uh yeah civil war alaska america's refrigerator seriously this is like where oh, we start wow. pile up all our resources that we won't tap into until things get really messed up it's the largest and coldest state you can find polar bears and the native you pick people arizona the grand <laughs> canyon state this is okay. kind of like the king desert state of the u.s arizona is also home to the largest indian reservation navajo nation arkansas basically just the book where the red i mean i knew that this video was gonna be a little bit longer because it was 50 states but then when i saw the time it, it, the duration it's 13 minutes so yeah i <laughs> i did expect him to be very very um you know just tap into the the information very superficially so yeah <laughs> interesting how he he um sums up each state um, I don't know how many people will react to this because, you know, how can you sum up a, a whole state with a few words? So I'd, I'm curious to read the comments after watching this. Fern grows, it basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of any state in the country. California, nice. my home state. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow, for some reason, seceded from the US, it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful economic superpower. So Whoa. obviously California holds a high position of geopolitical influence in our country. Nonetheless, California is still heavily dependent on the US government. We're the home of the entertainment capital of the world. Three of the largest tech companies in the world are in Silicon Valley. Crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. Colorado, our healthiest nice. state, which has the lowest levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, fresh air and enjoy those mountains. Just uh, be careful if someone offers you a chocolate truffle or a brownie. They are really enjoying those new cannabis laws. Connecticut <laughs> is like the gentler, cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. Delaware, the first state to become a state. And that's like literally all they got going for them. I think they have like a cardboard box factory. Florida, America's swampy playground. Seriously, like none of the houses here have basements because if you just dig down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally Whoa. built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland. So they built Disney World. They made it bigger. And then like 8,745 other theme parks opened up. Georgia, the peach wow. state. Home to Coca-Cola and the busiest airport in the... So you're telling me that it was just built for amusement like las, las vegas or something like that u.s boiled peanuts and little miss beauty pageants yeah some places do that in america hawaii <laughs> the last state to become a state before we made hawaii into a state it was actually its own country like it was a polynesian country they had their own monarchy and everything Liliuokalani was the last queen it's pretty cool otherwise you know the rest hula surfing pineapples luau's yada 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 idaho the only fact that most americans know about idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state i mean apparently wow. they have some cool secluded spots like hot springs and gorges otherwise i feel like the people in idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we don't know about. Illinois, ah, <laughs> the land of Lincoln, even though Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Now, I actually grew up a large portion of my childhood in this state, and a lot of people know this place by another name, Chicago. Seriously, like half the time, people don't even know what state Chicago is in. And historically, it was known as like the slaughterhouse of America, partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered, and also because eh, there was kind of like a little bit of a mafia past. Indiana is wow. like Illinois' annoying little brother who took the town of Gary away from Chicago, and then they get to claim that they have the birthplace 
place of Michael Jackson. No, but seriously, like the only interesting thing from here is like the Indy 500 car race. Otherwise, John Green is from here, Iowa. Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, and they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is the heart of the Midwest, famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and this is literally the flattest state in our entire country. Oh, ah, Kentucky, you with your baseball okay. bats and bourbon yeah. and KFC. Let me just comment. It's a nice, um, nice location to go ro on a road trip then. Kentucky. Who doesn't know KFC, right? Our entire country. Ah, Kentucky, you with your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and horse derbies. It's also home to Fort Knox where we hide all our gold. Louisiana. Ooh. Ah, now y'all coming down here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get the real couture cajon. Vous comprenez mon ami? Louisiana is one of the only few states <laughs> okay. left in the U.S. that has concentrated francophone communities that speak French, kind of. Known for wow. the bayou and a diet high in crawfish and crabs, reptiles oh, and other swamp creatures. This place is unlike anywhere else in the U.S. Maine, the lobster state. This is like where all the tough Atlantic sailors come and live and have houses on foggy cliffs with lighthouses. Maryland. Maryland is like home to the richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also Michael love crab, Phelps. crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab. You cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts is like the library of America, and it has our best university, indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three different types yeah, of people that. from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual <laughs> gritty. They all believe they are better than the other two. Michigan! I am so sorry. You were doing so well in the early 20th century. You're like one of the richest states, but then you kind of filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in U.S. history. Minnesota. Wow. I was actually born there. Minnesota is kind of like the Finland of America. Plus, there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that live there as well. The land of 10,000 okay. lakes. And if I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey, kids, let's go grab our bigs and read the magazines. Yeah, I grew up with that. <laughs> accent mississippi Magazine. this is like probably america's truest deepest southern southern y'all put some butter on my grits state speaking of butter yes they are the fattest state just they are. They love their churches, pecans, or wow. pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Missouri, America's gateway to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind of acting like a buffer zone. Today, they are known for their Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City is actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Las Vegas for old people. And people who probably collect those tacky Las figurines Vegas and put for them old in their people. china cabinets. Sorry, Missouri, just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Mon um, I mean... Let me just ask you, if you're from any of these states, is anything he's saying offensive to you? <laughs> I feel like some of those comments would be offensive to some people, you know. Tana, America's big, empty, mountainous, may as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. I mean, seriously, you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne, Nebraska, corn and steak. That's literally like their only attraction. Oh, and Warren Buffett, Corning the second State. richest man in America, lives here. Nevada is like California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. Rock on, Whoa. Nevada. New Hampshire is kind of like a small autumn wonderland with beautiful foliage and wooden covered bridges. Home to Dartmouth, the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich and very angry. Like, they don't even try to... Wait, Dartmouth. There was a series... Who talked a lot about that university. I don't remember what series it was, but I watched it and they would talk about this university so much. Can't remember. The smallest Ivy League university, New Jersey. Pretty rich and very angry. Like, they don't even try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go crazy on the dance floor or crazy on each other. New Mexico is like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened, and now he came out with, like, six-pack abs and a sleek new look. <laughs> and uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens landed. New York is kind of like where so much of American history got its roots. Most Caucasian Americans Breaking that Bad, have by the ties way. to immigrants from the 1800s can trace their ancestors back to Ellis Island, where most Europeans came in. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes and they never sleep. Seriously, like this whole place never stops moving. North Carolina, the first in-flight state in which the Wright brothers flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca-Cola's arch nemesis, Pepsi, was born here. North Dakota, congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access, Pipeline, controversy, drama thing. In addition wow. to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's 
there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio is like the most plain Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer, corn dogs. With fireworks and carnivals. They also have the large. Can you believe I, I have never had a corn dog and I'm always, I have always been curious to, you know, how it tastes. If you guys know any corn dog shops here in the uh, UK, let me know. Uh, I would like to try that. Just Amish population out of any other state. Then election time comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma, America's tornado state. Now, pretty much all of the Midwest gets tornadoes. However, Oklahoma, dang, you get hit hard. Oregon, it started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state with burly men with axes and chainsaws. But then one day the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore. So they all just kind of moved up north. Now Oregon is like this weird lumberjack, vegan, hipster, hybrid freak show with good donuts. Pennsylvania. America's history state. We should have had our capital over here and technically at one point our Congress did actually meet in Philadelphia. If you want a real American history story, come here. Rhode Island, our smallest state, and it's not even an island. It's not even a peninsula. <laughs> Heck, Rhode Island. Anyway, they were one of the original 13 colonies, and other than that, they really don't have much else going for them. I mean, they're home to the fictional city of Quahog in the show Family oh, Guy. Wow. But that's about it. South Carolina. These people love their tobacco, fudge, walnut. I mean, can you believe? I mean, could you imagine like your hometown is, is only famous for being um, the city from Family Guy? I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure there's a lot more going on there. Nuts, and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences, and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. South Dakota, the other Dakota. Home to Mount <laughs> Rushmore, America's Dakota. most iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the Crazy Horse Monument. Otherwise, like North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians, mountain folk. Because you're the only 10 I see. Uh. Bluegrass. Country music artists all come here in hopes of making record deals. Now everybody knows about Texas. Texas was at one point even its own country. And in Texas, everything really? is bigger. Football or American football is basically a religion. Barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food oh, groups. Yeah. Cattle ranches are everywhere. And contrary to popular belief, most Texans don't really mind Mexicans or Mexican culture as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new Tex-Mex culture that fuses both of them. Utah, basically nice everybody know. kind of knows this place as being like America's Mormon state. Salt Lake City is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire state's population is registered with them. Otherwise, they have great skiing. The Sundance Festival comes here all the time and they have great eroded rock formations like my favorite site in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind yeah. of like New Hampshire's smaller twin brother that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise, the only other thing that they got going for them is Ben and Jerry's. Like seriously, if that company goes Whoa. bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Virginia. Whoa, but let's talk about Ben and Jerry's. That is, uh, I don't know. It's one of the best ice creams that I have ever had, honestly. Um, I don't know. Do you guys agree with me or do you think there are better ice creams out there? But I really love Ben and Jerry's. I, I mean, it, it's, it's expensive. But it's nice. Yeah, it's kind of like where everything started with the US. Essentially, the British came in, they tried to start a little small town, and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened, and then Disney made everything incredibly accurate. It holds so much history. So, Virginia and Pennsylvania, Dark those are like the two history states. Washington, the evergreen state. Basically, imagine the exact same scenario with Oregon, except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam! Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Oh, and a volcano erupted Whoa. in the 80s, and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West Virginia is like the southernmost like state that was actually part of the Union during the Civil War. It was like, nope, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. The average age is about 40 and we get a lot of coal from here. Wisconsin, America's dairy land. Now, nice. my personal belief is that everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally do. My friend, Why? Bill, he's actually the one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along with. They have the best stories. Okay. They're also like home to the country's most 
most attractive chubby people. They don't care. They own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming, <laughs> home to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. Beautiful place, waterfalls, shooting geysers, hot springs. They have tons wow, of buffalo. That's beautiful. And it's kind of like the training grounds for actual cowboys. And here's a little bonus, Washington DC, our capital. Although it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here sometimes, Congress assembles, mostly. All the museums in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. There's statues, monuments, okay. and everywhere you are being watched. Security cameras <laughs> are everywhere. So have fun. Just not too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. All right, now very quickly before we end this video, just please stay, please, just listen. As you guys know, I've mentioned this before, I'm trying to work to save up for my heritage trip that me and my mom are taking. And as you guys know, one way I'm doing that is by doing more of these sponsored videos. And I'm very happy to announce that a great company called Skillshare has decided to okay. sponsor Geography Now. What is Skillshare? That Skillshare is so cool. Is amazing okay, so um, we know that, I I'm gonna l leave it playing in the background. Okay, just so that you know he gets um, watch time from for the sponsor but let's talk about this for a second um, I think the video is over right <laughs> he did talk about all states um, he did mention Washington DC which is a district um, in my country Brazil we also have a district with is which is called Brasilia actually let me say that in the right pronunciation Brasilia which is the capital of Brazil. So Brasilia is the capital of Brazil and it is a federal district as well. And it is very near to Goiânia and yeah, basically <laughs> we also have that. And that's where the president is and it's basically a, a copy paste from the US. In fact, Brazil used to be called um, the United States of Brazil and most of our culture is kind of like borrowed from the U.S. I don't know why. I mean, I guess we should have been more European because we were, um, you know, colonized by the Portuguese. But we, although, you know, the U.K. was also, um, uh, the U.S. was also colonized by the U.K., right? By England. Um, so I think the same thing that happened in the U.S. happened in Brazil. Uh, we started developing our own stuff, but then I don't know why, the, like Brazil has a lot of, um, U.S. mentality. I don't know how that happened. Um, but we do have a lot in common with the USA. And <laughs> I think even our government system is very similar. Although, you know, our voting system is is very different um and but we we do have left wing and right wing uh but we do have a lot more than um republican and Dem Dem um, democrats uh we have a lot more parties when it comes to election um it is a, a different system but in any case, uh, culture-wise, we are very similar in a lot of things. Uh, so it's interesting how, how that played out. And I don't know how and why. <laughs> but we do get a lot of influence from the U.S. And I think the whole world is being influenced by the U.S., you know. Um, especially when it comes to food and entertainment. And, you know, a lot of our movies and music are becoming more American, let's say. In any case, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this reaction. It's very nice to learn more about, you know, different countries. And if you're from a country that is not, or that I have not reacted to, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I would like to know, where are you from? I'll see you. Take care now. Bye-bye.